I'm Marion Keys, and I am here to show you what's in my makeup bag. I get up at about eight in the mornings, but because I work from home, I don't do any of the things that normal people do. I do my very best to avoid washing myself. I mean, I absolutely hate water. And the shower to me is like this enormous obstacle course that I have to overcome before I can deal with the world. And then the whole getting my face on. I have a routine. I mean, I'm not one of those people who spends 45 minutes in the morning experimenting. I am very much stuck in my look and I don't care. I know what works. I know how to do it. I have a little palette of four eye colours together, so I fiddle around with them. I'm mildly obsessed with mascara, which I will get to. And then some foundation always always far too much blusher. I try not to, and I just, I can't help myself. I love it. Funny enough, recently, I don't bother so much with the lip stuff. And then, and then I comb my hair, and sometimes I don't, and, uh, and I go. So I'm quick. If I'm unfortunate enough to be going out to a big glammy do in the evening, I'll do glitter and primer and shiny stuff. What's that thing called? Highlighter, you know, and proper red lipstick and all of that. But I really, that really doesn't happen very often. So this is my makeup bag. I'm going to show you what's in it. Now this is everything. I wouldn't wear all of this in the one day. So don't worry. I always start with my eyes. This is the one I use every day. And I could do it in my sleep. It's from Clarence. It's four greys. And I'm just so thrilled I can move to the cold winter colours. Now I'm going to show you my whole mascara extravaganza. I will start with this lad. It's called Little Black Primer and it's from Estee Lauder. And it's not a mascara. You put it on your lashes first and it tints them. So you have colour but none of the crunchiness that you'd get with a mascara. Beauty Pie that I was telling you about, this is fabulous. Look at the lovely fatness of it, like, you know, that gives you lovely, lovely big lashes. There's no messing around there. That, that's a mascara and a half. There's this new one from Clinique, which is high impact lash elevating mascara, which means that sort of goes, depending on the day I'm having, if it's going to be a long one and I don't want mascara to be dropping on my face, I'll put this yoke on, which is another Estee Lauder one. It's the double wear one and it's it, it's a tube mascara, so only water will wash it off, if you get me. Like, um, and then it means that you don't be having black snowflakes on your face. Um, so that is my mascara regime. Eyebrows. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. I'm not really an eyebrow person. I have another lovely um, thing from Clarins. You put this pink yoke along here, you know, just under your lash line so that it makes your eyebrow pop. I use that one and just comb it through. And then you can put this waxy gear through it if you want to set it. I don't really, you know, again, once in a blue moon. But the option is there. I suffer from red chin-itis. Makeup Forever do all these fantastic things. So if I put this blue thing, see, it's actually literally blue. If I put that on my red chin and on my red nose, the redness is banished and I am cured temporarily of my red chinitis. Now, foundation. <laughs> um, Shiseido Synchro Skin. Um, it's lovely. It looks like real skin, only nicer. I would spend more on a foundation than anything else in my, um, in my beauty bag because, yeah, it's all about nice skin. And I have a backup, which is an Estee Lauder Double Wear. And I like this because it's really pale. Highlighter. I don't really bother anymore. Thanks to God that whole contouring thing seems to have passed. But this is still very handy. It's from Clinique. You know, just to give an old bit of colour there on the old cheekbones. Bronzer. Look at this. Looks like sand. I've been on holiday. It's like having a mini holiday whenever I see it. You see, it's got the three yolks in one. I love this because it's sort of a bit multitasky, isn't it? And also it just looks beautiful. And you know, there is no shame in loving a beauty thing just because it looks beautiful. Blusher. This is from Makeup Forever and it's a very muted colour. It is called number 220. That is the shade. And it's a cream which is lovely. It's creamy but not shiny. You barely know it was there, which I suppose is the idea. Sovarax, great for the owl cold sores. Okay, now lipstick. I don't really wear much anymore, 
but this is by Marc Jacobs. This is a lovely lipstick because it's very neutral and it's matte, which is the effect I like. I don't like shiny. This is if I need to be a bit glammier. This is a Bobbi Brown art stick. I love this color. Do you see it comes out lovely in pink, lovely in pink, but dark pink, not pinky pink. I would show you my lip brushes, but the feckers have all disappeared. I mean, I am perpetually buying them and then they leave me. I use them so rarely. I know I, know I should because I have a very bockety mouth, but I think, gosh, look at life's too short. Sizzly. Look at that. That now is a red and a half. The odd time I will wear kind of don't mess with me reds. This is a total don't mess with me red. It's just, it's fantastic on. It just jumps, you know? I don't mess around and you won't mess with me. I have a funny relationship with brushes because for a long time I just felt that they were another swizz. But now, I don't know, must have grown up or something. Um, I use brushes and I love them. This one is by Cryolan. It's about 170 years old, but it's still amazing. Like, I don't know what it's made of. And then the other brand of brushes that I really like is Kira Daily. And again, her brushes last. And then I have a couple of MAC ones because MAC ones are always handy. Well, I suppose if I was stuck on a desert island and I could only take one item, I suppose I'd have to take sunblock. But we'll assume that I have sunblock. This, this, it's all about the lashes at the moment. And this, this is a fantastic mascara. Like it does kind of all the things. It thickens and it lengthens and it curls. Let me see, beauty disasters. Oh God, yeah, well, I mean, there was a time when I was allergic to an eyeliner. It was too late. I was out on a date with a man who I fancied, who I had high hopes for. My eyes wept, like, and they were bright red and I could hardly see him and they were all bloodshot. I looked like a rabbit, you know, with myxomatosis. It was awful. I had dyed my eyebrows um, and then I put on fake tan too soon and I didn't know but you're not meant to do that so they went like orange like bright orange even though I was putting on pencil over it to try and disguise the orangeness just kept and it felt like they had thickened that they were these massive Liam Gallagher-esque orange yolks on my head and I had to go out and be on telly and charm people and everything. And just these neon flashing orange hairy things on my forehead. Yeah, that was, that was kind of hard. And my best budget beauty buy. I'm in love with beauty pie. Like, I really am. I just, I can't tell you how thrilling I find it all. It's a club and you pay about a tenner a month. And then you have an allowance that you can buy because for a while it was only makeup but now oh my god their skincare is just their their serums are beautiful and um, their night cream i love and um, their their cleanser i love their foundation is fabulous they cost you know between a fiver and a tenner i'm not sure anything costs more than a tenner and uh, and new things are coming all the time so i was very excited about them Astral, people swear by Astral. Joanna Lumley wears the Astral cream. I really don't think that it's necessary to spend tons of money on, on stuff, you know, especially not makeup. You see, I'm really gullible. Like when people say, this is extremely expensive, but it's worth it, I go, okay. And it may not be true. Don't be afraid of the cheap stuff is my message to you. And I'm sort of saying that to myself as well. Is there anything I would spend a fortune on? You know, I am very partial to the SkinCeuticals. Um, the Resveratol that I wear at night. I'm not really sure what it does. I'm bonded with it. I have imbued it with magical qualities. I have no idea whether it's real or not, but I am very emotionally attached to it. Yeah, that is the one product. Anything else, there's no need. There really isn't. My beauty ethos is do what you like. Now, as I speak, there is uproar because poor Zadie Smith had the temerity to say the time that women spend doing their makeup every day is a tax on our lives that men don't have to pay. An average woman will spend two years of her life 
doing her makeup. She makes a very, very valid point. But I suppose the people that are upset are also making the valid point that women get shamed for caring about their appearance. I wish that it was more acceptable to be makeup free. Um, I wish that I was braver, although I am getting braver. I wish that women and men could show up in the workplace having done the same amount of grooming and that nobody would be judged. Nobody would say, Jesus, she's looking a bit wrecked this morning. You know, that like women have to seem like more exaggerated versions of themselves just to be the same as men. However, what also saddens me is um, men going, huh, I see you've got the war paint on. <laughs> because we can do what we like. If we choose to paint ourselves, we should be allowed to do what we like. You know, who has the right to judge? It's a huge issue. Um, and it's something that I hope will change. You know, leave women alone, basically. Let us do what we want. Thank you for watching. And for more videos from The Pool, please click subscribe.